have this feeling, feeling. Haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping Caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now Morning, we're on day 21, this is our last day, we'll be leaving the villa today and um, flying back home. Our flight is around 7pm this evening, so we need to be at the airport about 4pm. Uh, we're just finalising our cases, making sure they equal out in weight and um, getting the last, last shower. Kelly's just making uh, breakfast with the last of the ingredients we had, just like bacon and eggs. Um, we've chucked a lot of things out. Uh, we've got ice cream that we haven't managed to eat. Um, and we're just going to put the last load of um, washing in, so it's all done. Just about all of our washing is done, so when we get home, we can just take it out of the cases and put it back in the wardrobe. So it's been great that we've got the, um, the washing and dryer so handy. Uh, I know you get it in the hotels, but it, you got to go down there and wait around and go back. So it's been it's been great. It's been in the garage. Um, we're going to put the when we came. Um, I think the towels were left in the uh, the tumble. I think so. We're going to do that. We're going to wash all the towels and leave them in the tumble ready for um, kind of ready for the next people. But I mean, the management company will come in and obviously change everything. But we're going to do that as uh, it was left like that for us. Uh, the weather is not great today at all. Um, there is a I think it's more north, but there's tornado warnings. Um, but here, it's really windy. It's very cloudy. It's probably the cloudiest it's ever been. Um, and I went out about 10 minutes ago to take some rubbish out, and it was starting to rain. Look, it does not look good at all. But uh, just as well, out in a park today. Well, I can just hear the thunder as well. Yeah, so we uh, will be. We got late checkout, Kelly, didn't we? Till about it's supposed to be 10, but we've got it till about. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Um, the villa owners are changing management company today, so they wanted to get in um, and get things sorted. Uh, it's not a problem, we, we could, we'll be out by then. We're planning, I think, to go to the outlets on the way to the airport. Um, we don't have an issue with the cases, we can get all the cases in the car. The, the pushchair hire company um, have already been, they picked the pushchair up, so that doesn't have to go in the car. We struggled getting that in the car and the cases and things, so that's gone now, that's been picked up. Uh, that's been great. Um, can you remember what company it was, Kelly? Kingdom Strollers. Kingdom Strollers. So yeah, they've been great. Remember the price or not? Um, 165 for three weeks. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, it was like a, a more more weight you want to take Noah's weight. Um, so that's gone. 165 pounds for three weeks. Kingdom Strollers. So we can get all the cases in the car and our bags. We can keep them in. Drive around. Go, do whatever we want to do. Go to the outlets. Um, maybe get some food before the airport, or we might get just in the airport. I know I think uh, the airport has a Chick Fil A, so Kelly probably want to go there. Maybe. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. That's us for this morning. Uh, we'll take us take you with it in the car to whatever we do. Um, and yeah, it's been been a, a excellent excellent holiday. So yep, yeah, catch you up in a little bit. Hi there, I just wanted to show you, you know I said about the uh, storm and everything, look at this, just, oh, I haven't unlocked it, it's just kicked off, look at this, you might get a bit wet packed in the car, uh, get our coats on, we're having the weather, we have uh, got the car packed just about. We normally pull on the other way, but with the cases with the wheels and the slope of the drive, 
putting the case in and <laughs> just falling out the back of the car. So I've turned the car around. Good thinking now. Um, and got the case in here. Now we didn't have them in like that when we came. And we didn't have them all expanded like this. There's only two of them. Um, but I've managed to squeeze all three in the back there and I think that's the best way. And then this one here, and then that one there. And then we've got what I call, I don't know why I call it this, the big duffel. It's just basically a massive canvas bag. We got this last time. Um, we were here, Kelly got it on Amazon. And got it delivered to, I think we saying, the Disney Hotel at the time. We've got that, you can fit so much more in than you think. It just keeps going on and on and on. Um, but that one's like only, it's like nine kilo. And all the others obviously like 23. Um, so, that one is going in with the kids, just on the feet. Which can't fit in the boot, but apart from that, I think we're all done. The boot will close. It'll close, but depends whether it locks in or whether it pops up. Is it closed? No, it doesn't. No, I don't know. Not quite, I don't think. Might have to give it a shove. I'll have a look at that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. We uh, just about done. We're gonna. Um, we're just watching the TV, to be honest, and just last little tiny bit of washing up. Kelly's having a cuppa. Uh, we're not really in any rush. It's like twelve o'clock. We've got till one maximum. There's not really a massive amount of rush because um, like what we're gonna do. And Kelly's had a notification: the flight has been delayed by an hour since her. Um, 7 p.m. It's about 7:55 p.m. But the arrival time in Heathrow only says uh, 20 minutes later. So I don't know if they know if there's a tailwind or whatever. I'm not sure. Yeah, if it's much later, we'll start struggling for getting our train, um, the King's Cross, back home. Fingers crossed that it doesn't get delayed much more. Because although I would imagine they'll let us have the train. Um, you won't have any booked seats, so you'll be scrabbling for seats and um, we also got like all the suitcases to get the case, it was awful for coming. We had to go on different carriages to get them on, but it was really busy going. I'm hoping midday on a Sunday the trains aren't that busy, not like commuter wise anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see. Um, so yeah, that's us. And you know, I just having a game of pool. Last game of pool before we go. Sorry about the noise in the background, it's just a uh, wash. Uh, yeah, it's a washer. I saw that. <laughs> right, so I'm going to take my go, we'll finish this game, and then we'll see if Kelly's ready. So we've had one game, me and Noah, and we're playing doubles. We've got Kelly and Noah against Thomas and I. I think we win at the moment, aren't we, Thomas? Yeah. Just. I think so. Just. Alright, uh, shall I go, Thomas? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, not bad at all. Excellent shot there, Thomas. We Thomas win. Did Thomas did an excellent shot there. No, it's just saying goodbye to Mr. Tiger, aren't you? Mm. He's loved this Mr. Tiger. You got like ten minutes to leave, and no, it's just sad because you got to leave Tiger. Right, come on then. I'm going to get our shoes on. Right, just doing a video walk around of the villa, just in case there's any issues with the owners, just to show condition it was in as we leave it right that's it folks all cleared all packed up I'm not even sure I show it outside at all to be honest that was it 
and um, you're in the car because it's going to drive and uh, that's it until next time alright guys we've come to the um, PM outlets man and PM outlets uh, we're going to do that first we're going to give ourselves about an hour no more than an hour and then we are going to steak and shake for lunch and then off to the airport it is ultra ultra busy as Kelly just said it's going to be busy today with it being Saturday um, you kind of lose track of time of days when you're on holiday it's just like you don't even know which day it is as such you just it's the next day whatever you want to do with it in the park so yeah it is really really busy I can see um, so yeah we're going to give yourselves an hour uh, it's just one where that shop is you want to double look at yeah so there's a shop Kelly wanted to look in um, I just saw some dresses and uh, just have another look and uh, we'll probably go on the Disney uh, outlet store as well as uh, we've not got any space really to put anything in trying to squash it in I don't think we'd fit so it's nice to have a look though it just kills a bit of time so that's the plan it's currently half past one so uh, if there's anything new in the Disney uh, outlet store I'll uh, will will show you more slightly just the same as uh, last time but if I say anything new I will uh, will vlog it and show you uh, so we're here we've eventually got a parking space it's absolutely bad it is very very windy you can probably hear we've got to show you actually it's cold as well this is where we're going up jumping on first time with the holiday and we're going back in but um, if we were on our holiday right now and I was in shorts and t-shirt I'd be saying it's absolutely freezing <laughs> so just as well we've got these clothes on to be honest let's right, go to Disney Cove the warehouse we'll do this one first and let's see if there's anything new in here if there is I'll video it if not I'll, uh, we'll just leave it and you can see the um, one of the other videos I can't which day it was um, I can put a link in the description of uh, when we last came here and have a full tour of it. Uh, so there's nothing uh, different. It was about two weeks ago when we were last in there. Uh, but we didn't see anything different to be honest. It was all, all the same items. It was a nice spirit jersey that I uh, liked. I can't remember that I saw it before. Kelly said it was in before. I can't remember seeing it. It caught my eye. Uh, I had like Pinocchio on and things like that. Um, but it was only an extra small. Probably would have been okay. But then can't really fit it in. It was $45. So it's not bad. Probably can't fit in the case, so unless I really loved it, I wasn't going to get it. Um, so we left that, and then there's another like plain wine one, spirit jersey, uh, but they weren't extra large, so that would be no chance for me. So uh, yeah, so we left it. There was good bargaining there that we saw last time as well. 99 cents for Disney autograph book. Didn't have a year on, so you know, that could be used any time. It was really good. But, I thought about getting them, um, like even in a like when we come back in a few years, in a hope that they've got um, things we can pack on properly and get all the graphs. But Kelly is saying it's not, not really worth it. So the other store is this one, is it Aero for Style? Maybe? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Oh yeah, I remember this store now. We came in uh, last time we were here. And we're in again uh, early on. Yeah, this is the one Kelly just wanted to have another look in. A quick pan round so you can see. And I'll pick up there. So that's us all done. Kelly didn't uh, get anything in the clothes store either. Forgotten the name of it. Um, just saying there, it's like it's like weather in the UK. Um, overcast, windy. Uh, some of the weather and it says it's like 16 degrees. It's like definitely dropped. Uh, it's just probably I can't really. Look for the weather next week as well, when it's a little bit unsettled. It's time about our space again. Um, yeah, so the weather next week is a little bit unsettled. It's uh, kind of sun and clouds, and um, temperatures are like 24. So definitely uh, cooler than we, we have had. So I think we probably had the, the best uh, weather that we, that, uh, we could have had the first two weeks. So amazing. Yeah, it's been a little bit rainy and unsettled this week, and next week looks about the same really. Right, so we arrived at Steak and Shake, just over there, in the foot on the right. 
definitely tell us it's Saturday, can't you? Yes. When we came last, when we have been in the past, it's been like a non weekend. The car park's like empty, you can park anywhere you want basically. But just about every space is uh, filled here, not used to it, to be honest. Our food has arrived, we have got grilled cheese sandwich for Noah. We've got side of onion ring ranch, ranch dressing. Thomas got the um, chicken tenders, some fries. This one is Caitlin's bacon double, and fries. Uh, Kelly got, of course, the garlic burger again. And oh, what did I get again? Butter. I got the double butter burger. I've had that one before. Thought I'd give it a go. There's the onions that uh, attracted me to it. Uh, what was the price? 37. Uh, 37 for everything you see here. So give it a go. We know what most of it tastes like to be fair. We'll have a try the uh, grilled cheese sandwich and the uh, butter burger. You love it don't you? Thumbs up? Not love it. Yeah. You like it? Okay, good. Right, I'm gonna try mine now. So I'll focus, hold on. So the double butter burger. Really good. Nice sweet onions. I'm not exactly sure where the butter is exactly, to be honest. I think the onions in the bun possibly. But yeah, really good taste. Nice sweet onions there. So uh, we're liking that one. So yeah, we're going to finish these. Our last proper American burger. And then we're going to head for the airport. After getting fuel, fill the car back up and then head to the airport. Hiya, uh, we're going to start to fill up the first petrol station. That's got music playing out of the uh, pump station. <laughs> uh, we're coming to Wawa. Kelly's just gone in. We think uh, to fill it up because it's just about empty. It's going to be $60. We uh, did 30 last time after um, Bush Gardens, and that gives about half a tankish, so we're going to go with 60. Uh, we do believe the on these, when we came before, you couldn't do this, I don't think, but definitely on all the ones we do this time, you can put your card in. But our Revolut card doesn't work uh, on these, means it says you have to go in. So, Kelly's uh, going to put um, 60 in, pay for 60, and then if it's less than whatever you put in, it only charges what you actually put in, so you don't have to pay for more what you don't use. Um, I was going to say something I've forgotten now. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, so that's what I said. So you got, on this one, we've got diesel, quite often you don't get it over here. And we've got four different oxygens of uh, petrol. Uh, we're just going with the cheapest, 4.299. Um, it's gone up about a dollar from when we uh, last uh, when we filled it before. It was it was um, three point three three point four dollars, I think. Um, it's gone up at like a dollar in the time we've been here. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna uh, fill it up and we'll uh, see how much uh, it actually does cost. Uh, another cool thing I like in the station to move out, which I don't think it happens in our country, in the UK, you can lock it on here and you only stand and hold the, uh, the, like the handle and the button in all the time. If you put that down and it just fills up all by itself and then cut off when it's ready. I wish we could do it in our country. Much, much easier. So we uh, $30 so far. It's still going. This car, I think, when I looked it up, it's a um, Toyota Rav4, and I think this one is a. Um, I think when we do it, because we went in the garage for the tyre, I think on there, I think it's a 2.5 litre uh, petrol. It's like, no wonder we haven't been getting that great at MPG. Um, that doesn't have start stop either. The last car we had had start stop. Uh, another one we had was a hybrid. Um, this is the worst one card. Um, but the other ones we did have were from Alamo. This one was from Avis. Um, yeah, so two and a half litre petrol. It was, just, it was just about empty, wasn't it? We had like 20, 16 miles left. So, and this has cost $53.98. So we're calling coming for $60. Um, so yeah, so we'll have to get charged for $53.98 because uh, we'll have to get charged for the card for $53.98. So we're ready to go at the airport. Yeah, and and uh, let's see how busy the queues are at that airport. Well, so you know, uh, cars in I don't think they have an MOT, or at least not as strict as our country. 
driving around with half the car missing off the bump, back of the bumper. We have seen worse than that to be fair. Uh, cars battered up but uh, there's one just to show you there. Uh, so we're about five minutes away from the airport. Yeah so we um, have uh, didn't do the toll um, deal thing that they do with the um, Avis. I think it's more expensive. Kelly had done the visit at toll pass and we picked that up in the airport when we came. I can't remember whether we talked about this when we came. It's a bit later now, but uh, so we have we go through the Sun Pass uh, toll booths like the automatic ones, um, and it picks up the uh, the barcode up or the QR code up on on there. So can you say that it ran out um, at uh, three fifty-five? So you have to like, get through the toll by that time um, to before it ran out, which you managed to change it on the um, on the site. So we got like an extra hour on there. Just to make sure we have, we've just gone through it there. Um, uh, it's only like three forty seven, so it would have been fine. But uh, that's good that you can change it. Um, and we have to hand this back in, Dobby, when we get the airport to the visit uh, toll pass. Um, so yeah, how much was that one? Do you remember? It's Ten dollars for the passport. Oh, then you get charged. Yeah. So you, pay, so you pay ten dollars for the pass. And it charges you for each toll, and that comes out of that ten dollars. You say. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll say, yeah. We'll say, yeah. According to my app, we spent about five or six dollars in tolls in yeah. all three weeks. Yeah. So nowhere near as much as uh, expected. It's like, okay, it's like five, five dollars or so in tolls in the in the past uh, three weeks. So not much at all. Um, so yeah, we just come up to the airport now. We're looking there. BA is on side B of the airport for checking desks. We know that as soon as we go, we can head straight for B after dropping the car off. We do need to um, discuss about the tyre and getting refunded for that. Although the garage still haven't actually charged, I don't think. It hasn't appeared on my uh, credit cards yet. Whether it will eventually, I don't know. We're still putting the, um, the invoice into Avis just in case, you know, because it could be months before um, it appears on my credit card statement from the. Uh, the garage. So definitely put that invoice in still, um, tell them we have to get a new tyre and all the hassle that we had trying to, trying to get through Avis. The last guy that I spoke to in Avis did say he'd put notes on the account um, uh, that, we can, that he said we can go and get one ourselves and we'll just, we can get it reimbursed from Avis. So hopefully the uh, desk at the airport right. can and actually see those notes, hopefully. So, yeah, just on the filming in the airport right now so uh, not long now and uh, we'll, we'll get all sorted and then we'll uh, sit down and relax after have all the, the baggage check in security and then you can just chill B and C ahead actually that's all the um, airlines up there mm, true. <laughs> yeah, emergency stopping only. <laughs> and they all sat there. <laughs> In half of a mile, keep right onto Jet Fakwa Boulevard. Right, turn that off, please. Yeah, don't need that anymore. Get rid of that. No, uh, pretty sure where his terminal will be. So, yeah, we need to go to the Avis garage and we'll drop the car off. And then unload. Right, so we just, re so just returned our visit toll pass there. We are in a rush. I've stood at the Avis desk for half an hour to get our reimbursement on the tyre. And it's been a waste of time. They are so slow. So we need to go to the other desk, which is downstairs in the terminal when we find it, to so go straight at the manager and see them. Right, so no idea whether it's sorted or not to be honest. This is like three, five, seven showing on there from customer service. I don't know how because they, I didn't tell them how much it was. Um, so I had no idea. Very, uh, not not mystic at, at all on that to be honest. Try to get any refund from Avis, probably have to send them an email and take it out that way. Right, we are gate 80, so we go off to the right down here. Have we got time? Yeah. 
Five o'clock? Go for it. So what do you need to do next? Go through security. You won't say how long the security is because it normally tells you how long the height. If you want to, yeah. Yep. Yep, so Kelly is really, really stressed. I'm a bit more laid back, usually. So uh, we're going to have a look to see how big the security queue is, and then uh, if it's not that big, we will um, might have a look at the distance. So I've just popped the toilet, Kelly's been in the security. So there are, it's 32 or 36 minutes for security, um, but uh, doing accepting flights that are departing in the next two hours, and we are kind of out uh, just under three. So uh, not too bad to be honest, we've got a little bit of time. No one just wants to take his photo in the uh, Walt Disney World Mad Tea Party Cup just here. No one's going to take his photo. So we've done the photo, we're going to have a look in the Disney stop. It's called Magic with Disney here at the airport. I recognise a lot of items already. <laughs> That was the uh, jump I was looking at. I've got that t-shirt in blue. I also like the red one. Kelly's just jump out that she got. Oh, they're cool, look. Jam bottoms. And the women's up. Shadow box. I saw that in... Can I see if it's big head? I saw that in uh, one of the shops. I was looking at this Toy Story hoodie here, like that. And on the back, it's off with one hand here. How nice is that? Look at that. Nice. I prefer that. Eh? I prefer that. Mm, don't know. <laughs> yep, so that one, I'll put it back now, that one is uh, $50. Um, but I thought got this gonna get this spirit jersey here. I think it's more kinda like adultly grown up. So we've got pins and bags and suitcases, jewellery, cups, all the plushes. It's all the usual things really. Rims. Key rings. Nice. Quite like these here. The uh, bottle stoppers or kind of wine and things. There we go. Right, I want to go and pay for these. Kelly wants the um, treat as well. Um, this was the other um, bit of jersey I was looking at. Yeah, it's got a little bit more about it. But uh, I'll go for the black one, I think. So yeah, I think we're done. So that was uh, five dollars for the um, treat and um, seventy-five dollars about for the uh, spirit jersey. Steaming up, mad here. Um, so yeah, so that's all done. I eventually got myself a jumper, a spur jersey, and uh, we're ready for security now. So this is a bit of the Orlando International Airport that we all know about, and we recognise all the rooms up there. This is the rest security, checking for the gates, who's here. Uh, behind us there is where I've just been to Disney through there. Um, so with no special assistance, um, we can go on the sunflower section here. I mean, the queue is nearly as bad as any of the others, so there's no, ex no exact uh, quick access there. But uh, we'll get we'll on this one. And uh, you can see how big the crowds are. It's got 30 to 34 minutes for getting through. We are half past five, but the flight's been pushed back another kind of 10 minutes, five past eight now. So there's no panic, we, we are okay the time now kids 
playing on the phones. Got my Disney bag now. Rose got his tablet around his neck. We bought oh, this on so Amazon before we came out. It's great that he can wear it around his neck. It's also he can put it on his hand. He's got a stand. And that was like, I think it was like 20 pounds from Amazon. Right, we throw security. That was a mad. I forgot to mention actually when uh, we checked in at uh, the BA desk, we'd already checked in online. Um, Vivi Fly, Kelly had a job with that. You had to, so BA said to check in, you had to do Vivi Fly, we went on Vivi Fly, and it wouldn't, there was nothing to let us check in. So she, she sought help, looked online, I think from forum users, I think, and people have said you have to delete that trip and do a new one. It's in a bit of a, a pain. Uh, but she did online checking last night, so straight at the desk, uh, and uh, we got checked in, checked on, we're back in. No issue with weights, didn't actually see a weight readout uh, this time, yeah, no issue with that. Uh, but Kelly's uh, like suitcase, hand baggage, um, he said we could check that in for free, so that was good. Uh, one extra bag that we don't need to trail around the gate, uh, there's nothing in that we really needed this time. Um, it was like clothes and things that we couldn't fit in the big cases we'd like stuffed them in there like heavy items would have been a smaller um, case and that wouldn't only be weird for hand baggage so yeah we checked out for free so we got rid of that one that was uh, good of them I'm not sure how often they do that and when the reasons are maybe when they know there's not many people on the flight or bags maybe be allowed that so yeah we've done that so we've got our uh, backpacks on um, and that's all we've got our flight departures Eight or five. So in total, it's like an hour and ten delayed, isn't it? Delayed. So yep. Right, let's go and uh, we're gonna get a drink. We're absolutely thirsty. Massive queue here for Andy Ann's pretzels and Starbucks. I can see an outback. Which is uh, Outback Burgers, isn't it? Steak. Get a steak in the airport. And then through there, I can see Burger King as well. Over there. Uh, there's a normal shop over here still in use. Uh, let's go out. Uh, drink of water, be good. So, yeah, we, we're all set now. Let's. Uh, I was going to say find a seat, everyone's sitting on the floor, someone's still in all the seats, <laughs> so yeah, let's go get a nice drink, see so if we can get uh, snacks for the plane. Mm, you yeah, right? Um, could me and you both like to sit while they go get a drink? No, we'll go and have a look in the shop and see if there's anything, see if there's a cheese sandwich for you maybe or something. We've just been in the, got an in the selling new shop, um, I thought it was really expensive. Honest, but then when I've actually seen what everything that we've got, I didn't see anything that we picked up. We've got um, one, two, three, four, five, five bottles of pop, um, an Esquick milk, uh, normal milk, and um, pull that one up. And uh, some frosties for Noah's breakfast on the plane. Um, supper, breakfast. Um, so yeah, all I came to uh, twenty two ninety eight. Um, we paid with cash what we had left, and the rest went on our uh, Revolut card. Um, but yeah, it's two like two dollars thirty plus tax for a fizzy bottle pop, and the milk's the most expensive three ninety nine for a bottle of milk, uh, a little bottle of milk. 
um, plus tax. But uh, yeah, so um, seem expensive on the on the top on the you know, on the surface, but I suppose what we've got not too bad. Two dollars thirty for a bottle of pop is, is normal to be fair. So we're just having to sit. So it's gonna sit down on the floor like a lot of people. There's a few tables, but not a lot. And uh, we're just ready to go, aren't we? Time now is uh, 20 past six. So we've got, what, an hour and 40 or so, Kelly, I think that means. All right, we've got an hour left. It's uh, gate 80, so we're heading this way. Not long left now, it's dark outside. Right, straight out, we can uh, get straight on the plane. Yeah. Didn't realise uh, the, the gate would actually be open. So, I think you're supposed to get on the plane. No, we're getting ready to uh, get on the plane. I'm ready to get set and uh, get on our way. This bit's the worst, isn't it? Once to get home. And if I am awake, I will uh, show you the food that we have, whether it'll be different or the same as on the way out. It'll probably be different, um, different time of day, so... Time to get on! Time to get on! The British people. Lovely. Just straight down this way. You okay? You have a good time? Yes, thank you. Hi there. Hi there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, got to go through uh, premium. Is it? No idea. Uh, this is my seat here, I believe. You, plebs. Plebs. Which one's in? And where's in? Okay. We've gone through premium, get our seats. Don't often do that. Premium economy. A little section here. Yeah, I think it is. Thank you. Yeah, and there's a normal seat, I think. So it looks like on this plane going home, a lot of 77 as well, I believe. Uh, it's a non overhaul flight uh, plane by the looks of it. Yeah, the same here. Yeah. It's ancient. I think I've seen one like that for oh, years and years. We've got these here as well. So, that's going to be fun. But we're supposed to be on sleep anyway, so it won't matter, to be honest. So, yeah. No, it's having a little sandwich. You tell a sandwich before. He hopefully goes to sleep. Then you. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, so me and Noah just about to play this game. Bought it in Walmart. Red light, green light. It reminded me of uh, Squid Game. If anyone's seen that. And, uh, see what it's like. I can't remember how much I paid for it. It wasn't much. It was like four dollars. I think that's all it was. So see if we can have some fun with this. So we. Worked it out now, really fun game. So basically you gotta put a red light card out, then a green light, then a one, then a two, then a three. And, and you keep going if you've got them all. As soon as you haven't got one in the sequence, you have to pick a card up and go to the next person. <coughs> Pretty simple really. You know put two down last. You got you got a three? No. No. Right. Uh, I might drop the camera here. So I've got a three, I'm gonna put that down. But I don't have a red light, so I can't go, so I need to pick one up now. I've got like 12 cards. And now it's Noah's go. I've got like 12 have cards. You? One of them is a 2. It's like... Three that it was like a 1. And then I have like... Like 7 reds. And no other cards. You got, a red, you got a red? You can put a red out then? Yeah. <laughs> He's been picking up all this time. <laughs> 
Green light? You got a green light? No. No, you pick up then. Well, I'll just pick up the green light now. And I don't have a green light. So I can't go. Right. Ooh, next time. So it's giving me um, A27 and we still haven't uh, set off. Kelly was just saying that apparently some people um, are stuck in security. Doing no fault of their own. Not sure how that's not their fault. Um, and that's why uh, we're late. I'm waiting for the passengers, I think, maybe. So, yeah. So, it makes it even later. We're going to struggle to uh, meet our King's Cross train, I think. So, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, still waiting to take off. Okay, so it's now 37 and we are eventually moving, so hopefully we'll be taking off very, very shortly. Please do that. Have Kids' meals come. It looks like chicken goujons with pasta and veg. We've got salad with uh, like this ranch dressing. We've got bread and butter. We've got orange juice and a little Kit Kat. That's a really good big meal for the kids, isn't it? Really good. So we've got the adults, uh, there was a choice of uh, tomato penne and pasta or barbecue chicken. We've got the barbecue chicken, so we've got barbecue chicken there and we have got, I'm not even sure what that is. It doesn't tell you what it's with, does it? I'm not sure what it is. Um, then we've got a little um, salad. And chocolate mousse, yeah. So we'll give it a go. I'm not sure what uh, the salad is or this. I'll probably eat the uh, kid salad because no one ate that one. I'll probably have the kid salad and the barbecue chicken here. So, I had the food. Don't like the, what we think is quinoa um, salad. Don't like that. I've got ice sweet on. I've had the barbecue chicken. It's okay. Definitely not the best I've ever had. Um, tried the kids uh, salad with the dressing on, it's quite nice, so I had a bit of that. Um, what else? We've had the uh, carrots are fine on the kids, and the chicken is good as well, it's got a bit of seasoning on it. Um, the pasta's a bit dry, dried up, um, but not too bad. Uh, what else was that? Uh, I haven't tried the dessert yet. I'll try that. A little bit. That's nice. That's light. So as I don't like when it's really chocolatey, but it's really light, but down easy. So we have a mixed bag, not too bad, uh, not the best. I think they were better on the way out to uh, Lando, but uh, bad than that, yeah. Not bad, filled up a little bit. So we can have a little nap now before we uh, wake up. The tailwind is absolutely massive. Um, we've been up the air maybe 20 minutes, and then that you know, said uh, the flight time was only going to be like just under seven hours, so it's never been that fast. Um, we're still going to struggle, I think, getting our flight for um, sorry, our train for King's Cross. Um, not going to land until gone 8 am still. Um, so late setting up. Enough, so we're going to have 2 hours 20 minutes to get through security, get the bags, get on the train, the people are padding and the padding the King's Cross, so I don't think it's going to happen at all, so we'll have to see what happens when we get the King's Cross. About that, we're going to have a little nap and we'll uh, enjoy the rest of the flight. Serving the breakfast, 
got I think about an hour left till the um, and the adults, or there was uh, cheese and pickle. We've got uh, yogurt and water. On the children's there's fruit, apple juice, and then jam with the little uh, like crackers here. It's quite fun, the little ones for the kids there. So, yeah, everything's uh, great to be honest. No complaints here. So we're gonna uh, have our breakfast. I haven't slept too great to be honest. Had a little bit there, sleep on and off. Got bad neck on here now, but give ourselves a shake off and uh, wake up. Have this food will uh, get us woken up ready to uh, go. Alright, so we're just, the uh, seatbelt sign is on. The uh, company went down for landing. Yeah, so I can see the day. No, I've seen land through a bit of the cloud. It's quite cloudy. Uh, it hasn't been too bad a flight. There was some turbulence at one point. Um, it wasn't feeling too good, uh, but the hour says have kept checking, after, checking on her. She's been, it's been really good with her. Um, but yeah, but that's been great. Food's not been too bad. Um, I've been absolutely freezing though. Really cold in here, so I had the blanket around me. Um, it's not normally that cold on the, on the flight. But apart from that, everything's been okay. It's been a, been a pretty quick flight. That's the, the good part of it. Um, so yeah. And it's only 21 miles until we land. It is, yep. So it's not long now. 35 kilometers, 35,000 Yep. Yep, so not long now. Uh, we're back down on the ground. And then uh, that'll be the end of us. We'll get our uh, train and uh, get back home. <laughs> So yeah, been good. See you there. Well, got our cases, my dash down Heathrow Express was in the station. Uh, actually in Terminal 5, so we didn't have to get the free train to Terminal 2 and 3. So central. So we jumped straight on the Heathrow Express and we went on our way to Paddon. I think we had the tube from Paddon to King's Cross. Looking at uh, the apps, we're going to have like two minutes to spare um, to get our train. So it's going to be it's going to be tight, really tight. Hi there. So some time has passed. Well, a lot of time. We are actually back home now. Eventually, uh, I think I left you on the cliffhanger. Uh, on the Heathrow Express, whether we'd get to King's Cross in time to get our um, train home. Uh, we didn't get there at all uh, on time. Um, we had to uh, go on the next train and we had to repay because we had advanced tickets. Um, it was only valid for that um, trip. So we had to uh, repay, I think it was like £133. As you said, the, the, most of the clothes has been washed in the villa and dried so they've literally just been sorted out into who who's they are and they're being put away in people's bedrooms we've um cases are uh, empty to go back in the garage and all our kind of goodies our drinks bottles and things we've washed all those up we're ready to use we've had an amazing three weeks away um i can't wait to do it again to be honest um so yeah I think that's it from all of us, to be honest. Um, and we'll hopefully see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will catch you next time.